place is... Now, you didn't think we'd leave you with the first five winners of The Voice and just take off, did you? No way! We've taken the time to track down the next five winners so we can let you know just what's going on in their musical life. Since our last video, there's even been an addition to The Voice's Hall of Champions, with the show's 12th season coming to an end. With an ever-growing list of victors, we're going to look back at seasons 6 through 10 so we can explore in-depth what the more recent winners of the show have been up to since their big win. Just as a quick reminder, if you haven't watched our Where Are They Now video featuring the winners of seasons 1 through 5, check it out in the description below. Now, let's get started. Season 6, Josh Kaufman. There's no better way to start off this list than with one of The Voice's most power-packed seasons, Season 6. And much of that power can be seen in the soulful vocals of the winner, Josh Kaufman. This Indiana-based singer was the oldest competitor to win The Voice at the age of 38. He was also the first winner to switch coaches throughout the season. While Kaufman initially chose Adam Levine to be his coach, he was later stolen by Usher when he was defeated in a knockout battle against Delvin Choice. We can't say we blame Adam for choosing Delvin on this one. This battle over Signed, Sealed, Delivered may be one of the best battle rounds in The Voice history. So, what happened after Kaufman's time on The Voice? The answer may surprise you. Would you have guessed that any of The Voice's winners would go on to be in a Broadway production? Well, that's just what Josh Kaufman did. In 2014, fresh off his win, Kaufman took the lead role of Pippin in the Broadway revival of the Tony Award-winning musical of the same name. He was the last to portray the young prince, as the Broadway revival closed in 2015. Becoming part of a pattern, Kaufman broke apart from Republic Records, much like Javier Colon and Tessan Chin. And just like the past winners who broke away from their prize label, that wasn't the end for Kaufman's music career. In 2016, he released a self-titled EP, his first solo recording since his voice victory. And let us tell you, it's amazing! Plus, according to his website, there's more on the way. How can he do this without the help of major labels? Well, the internet is a wonderful thing. He's supported through Patreon, a website that allows fans to donate directly to creators. You can check out his Patreon in the description below. Now, before we move on to Season 7's winner, we think it's important to note that Christina Grimmie was the third place winner of Season 6. Christina was a rising star whose bright path to stardom was tragically cut short when a crazed fan shot and killed Christina after a show in Orlando. If you'd like to know more about Christina and her music, we've planned a future video featuring the late talented artist. Season 7 – Craig Wayne Boyd Following in the footsteps of fellow country singers Cassidy Pope and Daniel Bradbury, Craig Wayne Boyd became the third country vocalist to win the show in Season 7. While his blind audition of The Whiskey Ain't Workin' only got two chairs to turn around, that of Pharrell and, of course, Blake Shelton, Boyd went on to win the whole shebang under Blake's coaching. Interestingly enough, Boyd was stolen by Gwen Stefani and then stolen back by Shelton later on in the show. In some states, this might be considered a felony. After his victory, Boyd signed with Republic and Dot Records. However, it seems he's parted ways with both labels. This definitely threw his planned album release date of 2015 into a skidding halt. In fact, Boyd hasn't released a full album since his 2015 win. That isn't to say he's not trying, however. Through the website Pledge Music, fans of Boyd's music can pre-order his upcoming album, all while helping fund its release. Think of it like Kickstarter for musicians. As you await Boyd's eventual album release, you can check out his two released singles, one of which you may remember is one of his final songs on The Voice, My Baby's Got a Smile on Her Face. Fun fact, this song was originally written for Blake Shelton, but Shelton decided to give it to Boyd. Talk about a great gift from a coach! Season 8 – Sawyer Fredericks Sawyer Fredericks easily persuaded the judges during his audition, inducing all four coaches to turn around for him. And when we say easily persuaded, well, just look for yourself how quick the minds were made up for three of the four coaches. In casting sorrow all through my day. 
His cover of A Man of Constant Sorrow was powerful and unique, making for a performance that stood out among the competitors. A crowd favorite, Frederick's rise to the championship was relatively untarnished, leaving him tied for youngest to win The Voice along with Daniel Bradbury. At just 16 years old, Frederick's collected 100 grand and a record deal with Republic. The same deal that left many winners before him with a bad taste in their mouth. But not Frederick's. His post-voice release debuts were incredible successes. With his self-titled EP being the first to be released under Republic, it reached number 49 on the Billboard 200, with his album A Good Storm reaching the 48th spot. In a world of Drake's and Beyonce's, these were great numbers for a contemporary folk singer under the age of 20. However, Fredericks did eventually split from Republic in what he described as an amicable and mutual decision. His forthcoming album was just announced in May 2017, along with an international tour. Well, USA and Canada, but hey, that's still international. Even under the independent route, nothing seems to be slowing down Sawyer Fredericks. We can't wait to see what lies ahead in the youngster's future. Season 9 – Jordan Smith While there's never a forgettable winner on The Voice, Jordan Smith is truly unforgettable. His voice astounded the judges when he sang Sia's Chandelier in 2015. With all four judges ready to accept Smith on their team, it was Adam Levine who scored this powerhouse singer. Before being chosen as Smith's coach, Levine stated, I think that not just the show, but the world needs a person like you. I think you're the most important person we've ever had on the show. And we'd have to agree. Not only does Jordan's persona speak to a lot of people, especially with his religious views, but he has pipes that can simply put a smile on your face. His talents allowed him to become the highest selling artist to ever win The Voice. Just three days after his crowning finale, Smith's cover of Queen's Somebody to Love dethroned Adele's Hello on the Billboard Top 200. As if that weren't enough, Smith went on to make history by becoming the first artist to hold the top two spots on Billboard's Christian Songs chart. Once the post-voice festivities came to an end, Smith returned to his home state of Kentucky, where he was welcomed with more than just open arms. In 2015, Kentucky Monthly named Smith Kentuckian of the Year, and in 2016, he was announced to be the Grand Marshal of the Kentucky Derby Pegasus Parade. One judge from his local area was quoted as saying, Jordan may have single-handedly reversed negative stereotypes on our region that will help give us an economic bump. As far as album releases, Smith has stayed true to Republic Records, and hopefully they've been doing the same. He's released two albums under their label, Something Beautiful and the holiday-themed Tis the Season, both within the year of 2016. Based on his past success, you won't be surprised to hear they were both major hits. As with many voice competitors, Jordan's story is nowhere near done. Something tells us we'll be making a video solely featuring this rising star sometime in the future. Season 10 Allison Porter We don't know if you've been keeping count, but out of the nine previous seasons of The Voice, there has yet to be a female coach that got to share the stage with the crown champion. That all changed in Season 10, when Christina Aguilera hooked the would-be winner Allison Porter. As if it wasn't apparent from her audition song of Blue Bayou that Porter was going places in the competition, the song she sang in the finale, Down That Road, was an original song that would go on to break into the Billboard Hot 100 just two weeks after she was crowned The Voice's Season 10 winner. What came next? Well, to know what came next, you have to know what came before, even before The Voice. Porter was a child actress starring as Curly Sue in the movie titled, wait for it, Curly Sue. For a period of time, that introduced her to the Hollywood spotlight. Unfortunately, this media sparkle came with some unexpected side effects. Porter suffered from drug and alcohol addiction, hitting rock bottom before determinedly deciding to make a momentous change in her life. After a four-year journey of self-discovery, including rehab and ultimately sobriety, Porter married her longtime boyfriend in 2012, becoming parents to two beautiful children. Taking advantage of social networking, Allison shares inspirational messages with her fans, extending love and support to those who may be struggling with similar addictions, 
But let's not overlook the musical theatrics of her career. Porter, having an evident disagreement with Republic, released a tweet in March of this year saying, Not everything worked out perfectly with my record deal, so I went back to the drawing board. My EP is written and I begin production. Notice how record deal is in quotations? For so many winners to run away from their ultimate prize recording label, you gotta wonder, is the prize really all it's cracked up to be? Regardless of the post-show dramatics, Porter just released her first single in April, and it's trending strong with over 80,000 listens on Spotify. We're hoping to see a full-fledged EP before the year is up. If it's anything like her run on The Voice, we're sure the EP will be incredible. We hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to keeping you updated on the victors. In the meantime, go check out our other compilations. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!